If you're following Johnny and Amber and you have been since the trial or before, you might know things on Johnny and Amber are still trending on X slash Twitter to this day. Right now, it's October 8th, 2023, and we got, unfortunately, I say Johnny Depp is a WB because we know in court he was proved not to be a WB trending. Now, some things popped up here from September 30th not extremely old, about the little poo in the bed. And this person here, Danny, who I'm not going to say anything about personally because I have no idea who she is or what she's about, has some theories. What I want to talk about is not her personally, but what she's saying. I think that's her. I wish I could play her video. However, it's got some music in the background, which is always tough because of copyright stuff. But anyway, what one of her main theories is, is who did it? Keep in mind, this tweet is about a week old. We're not going back here from the time it happened. She's still saying this. Number one, I.L. Tillett did it. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that wouldn't be a surprise. Number two, it was the dog. Number three, it was Amber. Not in that order, but that's exactly what she's saying. Now, she also says that Johnny was out of town when it happened. All right. So you might think right there, if that's true, which I'm not exactly sure about that detail, then, oh, wow, she's got it. Johnny was out of town. That means, oh, I guess Amber didn't do it. But you know what? Here's the thing. Sometimes you have to think really critically about things. Sometimes you've got to think about things inside and out. So here's the deal. If Johnny was out of town, I would think actually... That means she might have done it more so than if he was in town. And the reason is, a lot of times when somebody's right there, in the next room, around the block, people chicken out and they don't do it. For example, if I'm pissed at someone, I hate this person, and I scratch their car, but they're like out of town, I feel all, you know, I got them, I scratched their car. Then they come back, I have second thoughts, I'm like, I don't know who did it. You know, they come back, so you kind of get nervous. You freeze up. You don't want to go through with it. But when they were away, you had the guts to do it. So I would think if Johnny was away, Amber would have the guts to do it and do it. If he was right there around the block or whatever, she probably wouldn't. So even if that's true, I think that leans towards her doing it, not not doing it. As far as I'll till it, I got no idea. Isle seems a bit strange, so maybe. They show some pictures of it, analyze what kind it is and things like that. Okay. And to be honest, all right, the truth of it isn't even super important. The reason why is it's in character. A lot of things that she did kind of have the feel of it anyway. Committing perjury, the DUI, the lies the speeches where she wasn't sober, things like that. So either way, it's fitting. And right here, she goes back to this old one and says, if this isn't evidence, I don't know what is. Well, this isn't evidence. I'll tell you what's evidence. Evidence is evidence of physical abuse, not abusing a cabinet, not you laughing after you shut the camera off or smirking or giggling or whatever. It wasn't a full laugh, but you get my drift. So... Let's make believe you're five years old and I'm explaining it to you. Evidence of abuse means evidence of Johnny actually abusing Amber. Evidence of Johnny abusing a cabinet is what you see here. Thank you. Let's keep going. This Cat Tembarge thing that I covered, still trending. And I guess this is her. I must note that I often say, if you actually like Disney Star Wars, if you love it, you're probably supporting Amber. If you're casual about it, you don't have a strong opinion, okay, maybe you're not. But if you love Disney Star Wars, if you love the changes, if you love Rey, if you've got the stuffed animals and things, you probably support Amber. Or at least the majority of them do. But that's my silly little opinion, just from the years of watching similarities in personality. They gotta go on with the ED thing, okay, even if it's true. Like, in your late 50s and then going on 60, that's more normal than embarrassing, I guess, at that stage. 
whatever. Johnny Depp is not attractive. And they compare him to this thing. You know what? That's kind of cool, though. It's kind of like a undead zombie Johnny coming back. Okay. Doesn't seem like a very big insult to me. And right there, he doesn't look so bad. I mean, let's keep in mind, he's 59 in this picture. Or 60. He looks actually pretty damn good for that age. And as you can see, it goes down and down. And down and down. And these are all pretty new. September 28th. Not so old. September 30th. Not so old. They like their little poems. This thing here, for whatever reason, is supposed to be some kind of an insult. Johnny on October 5th in Budapest. Looks like Johnny shaking someone's hand and a fuzzy lens. Okay. Wow, that was terrible. And as you can see, it goes down and down and down, but I think you get the point. This stuff still trending as of this day, and the reason is the fans will continue to have little battles and skirmishes, but let's not forget Aquaman 2 hangs overhead. No news this week on it, but I'm sure as it gets closer, more will come out, and you know who is still in it, even for a second. That's too much for most people, so... We'll see where that goes. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.